Right, this tutorial is going to talk about the clone stamp and healing brush in a little bit more detail. Um, the first video just discussed how to tidy up a shed. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more ambitious. What I've got here is an image I took while I was on holiday in um, Egypt. And I was on the boat after a few beers and I was taking a photograph of the sunset and I was taken away by trying to get the sun and silhouetting the palm trees and as an effect I, I really do like this picture I do have a better one however um, this one I needed to do a bit of manipulation to and um, the reason being is let me show you what the original image looked like um, because I was just slightly tipsy on the beer I forgot all about and the canopy that I was standing under. So as a result, I lost a lot of the sky, which I wanted to um, obviously retain if I was taking a um, beautiful vista like this. So what I've done with Photoshop is using advanced tools of cloning, got rid of the canopy altogether to the point that when you first saw it, you probably, I didn't recognize that there was any manipulation done on this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this layer and start again and show you how I achieved that effect. So I'll just delete sky and what what I'm going to do is recreate the layer and again I'm going to call it sky okay so what do we do well we need to use the clone stamp tool but we also need another um, um, area available to us which is the clone source um, dialog box now if you've got a screen similar to mine you should see the clone source situated here on the sides toolbar. If you haven't got it, don't worry, because what you can do is you can go to the window menu and choose um, clone source, which will do exactly the same job. So with this window open, what we want to do is we need to change a couple of things in here. Now, what I'm gonna do is just do the options and then explain what I've done afterwards. So I'm gonna go into this width option here and put in minus 100. And then what I'm going to do is just press escape, which will just take the cursor flashing at the moment in the width away. And then I'm going to use the square brackets to make this bigger. And then I'm going to hold down the alt key and go right into the corner and click about there. Okay, so I've chosen my source. Now, what has happened is, can you see what my cursor is doing? It's showing like this dark triangle, but what it's actually um, representing here is it's doing the flip reverse of the image. So it is allowing me to clone, but the reverse image, which allows me to do this. Let me go up to the top right hand corner and with the mouse start um, dragging. Now, what's going on is it's now doing the opposite um, corner and overwriting it. Now, if you look closely on the right hand side of the image, you may see this blue crosshair. Now, I'm going to just keep going, and then the more I move to the right, can you see the more the blue crosshair is moving to the left? So I'm just going to be a bit careful because I don't want to go too far and let go at that point because I'm going to start bringing in the um, other side of the canopy and as a result there we go that's about the best I can do at that point but look at that it looks like I haven't actually got the canopy there anymore and it is symmetrical fantastic so all I want to do now is just tidy up the rest of it and for this I need to just go back to standard cloning so I'm going to go back into the toolbar here this um, dialog box I should say and I'm going to click on this button here this um, reset transformation what it will do is it will just get rid of any of the settings I've typed in on here so the minus 100 percent now gone back to a hundred percent now I'm going to just size the brush down a little bit and then hold down the Alt key about here and then with the mouse just drag to get rid of the remainder of the canopy. Now I'm not worried too much about the mess I'm making because I'm going to tidy that up with the um, healing tool in a second. So there we go, that's that bit done. I'm just going to flip over to the healing tool now, select a bit of a lighter colour down here with the mouse and just change the size of the brush again a bit bigger and just drag and it looks like I'm making an absolute god awful mess don't worry because remember from our previous video which you can get from pcteach.me um, it discussed how the healing brush is more of a uh, mediator it takes what you're dragging over and takes the base image and then makes 
the best approximation between the two images. So as a result, look at that. You can't really tell anything was done to that image. And again, if I just turn it off, that's what we had originally and that's what we've got now. So with a little bit more time, you could probably finesse this a little bit more, but as an example, you can see the power of using the clone source dialog box. However, we're not finished there. What I'm gonna do is jump over to this image um, which was one I took um, in Egypt as well at Luxor. This is Luxor's temple's entrance. And what we've got is this statue, which over the years has degraded and, and fallen apart over time. Understandable if it's been there hundreds and hundreds of years. But what I want to do specifically is, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit more clearly. I have this eye perfectly fine on the right hand side of the image but on the left hand side it's completely worn away through the uh, ravages of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that eye. Now a couple of things is when I move the mouse on you may notice my clone stamp or my healing brush is still showing the sky. Now that's great as well incidentally is that you can clone over multiple images. Um, I'm going to leave that for a rainy day um, because um, although it's a good idea I've never had the need to use it just yet. So what I'm going to do is just size the brush down and then hold down the alt key and click on the eyeball. Now again what I need to do is in the source um, clone source options is put in minus 100% to um, flip it the opposite way and then if I drag what I'll get is um, a repeat of the eye on the other side um, because I'm using the um, the healing brush it's not the ideal option so I'm just going to undo that and switch back to the clone stamp bear in mind whatever settings you put in here will do um, will, will be repeated um, rather than whether you use the clone stamp or the healing brush. So now if I drag, what I will have is the, the same sort of option as before, and there we go, we've got the eye. However, is it right? I don't think so. The reason being is twofold. One, it's a sculpture, so therefore um, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. And two, I was standing on uneven ground, so I am not actually seeing a perfectly horizontal image. So I'm going to undo that and what I'm going to do is just show you some of the other features briefly and I'm going to go into the opacity here and make it 50% and I'm also going to turn off clipped. Now what this does, if I hold down the alt key and click again, what this does is it gives you the entire image as a flip and but bear in mind the circle indicates what you're going to draw but with clipped switched on you can see what the symmetrical image is going to be and although it's pretty close what I'm focusing on in particular is at the top here this this little bit sticking out because when I put them next to each other as you can see they're clearly not aligned so I'm going to go into this angle option and then move the mouse back again to roughly where I want it to be and then using the up and down arrow not clicking at all you can adjust the actual um, angle of the image now what I need to do is move this to about minus 8.8 because .8, that's what I found worked the best now you'll notice as I'm holding down the arrow key the image is being um, tilted 8.8 .8 degrees to the left and what I now have is that should be lined up and if you look that looks a lot more symmetrical overall. Fantastic. So now I've got it the way I want it. I'm going to go back in, change the overlay back to 100% and put clipped back on. So all I see is the preview within the, um, the brush area itself. And then when I'm quite happy, I'm just going to drag with the mouse and tidy it up a little bit. And although it's not perfect, I'm gonna probably do that again, actually. Um, let's just undo a couple of steps, there we go. I'm gonna drag there and sort of quite happy with that. It's not perfect, but when you zoom out, you'll now see that you've now got two eyes instead of just the one with the eroded edges. So there you have it. What you can do with this is you not only just have to flip the clone, you can adjust the angle of the clone as well. You can also change the opacity of it so it will still have bleed through of the original image. And then you've also got all the same blending options as what you would have at the top of the screen. As you can see, normal, dark and light and difference. And if I click up here, 
you can see I've got more options at the top. However, in the clone source options, if you're going to manipulate and switch the image around, you do only have um, only a series of them to make it darker or lighter and so on, or what is the difference between them all. So there you have it. What you've got then is the clone source tool um, with the actual additional options will give you a whole wealth of controls that you can do on your images. Hope this has been of use. Thanks.